Coming up, 16 North Penn students earn a prestigious honor. Students proudly showcase what their clubs have to offer. And the new dudes are revealed. But first, you're watching the first mornings of the 2015-2016 school year. Hello and welcome to this first edition of the Mornings for the 2015-2016 school year. I'm Stephen Sokolowski. And I'm Maddie Payton. Today is September 18th, 2015, and it's an E-Day here at North Penn High School. Mr. Rumball is back to test your knowledge of our new principal, Mr. Bauer. Remember to send your answer to nptv at npenn.org. Here's today's question. Hey, welcome to this year's Brumbaugh Challenge. In honor of our new principal at North Penn High School, Mr. Bauer, I have a question for you about Mr. Bauer. When he attended Bucknell, he played a wiffle ball game. And joining that wiffle ball game was a famous actor who starred in one of the most iconic baseball movies ever made. And he played wiffle ball with them for a good long time. Who was this actor? The answer when we get back. Last week, 16 North Penn students were named semifinalists in the 2016 National Merit Scholarship Program. 16,000 high school seniors were chosen out of one and a half million students who took the PSAT last October. The selected students had the opportunity to be awarded a combined total of over $32 million in scholarships. Congratulations to all of the semifinalists. Eric Vitamin is here to talk about upcoming SGA events. Eric? The next few weeks will have plenty of activities for everyone here at North Penn. The homecoming season starts next week when seniors will nominate their fellow classmates for homecoming court on Tuesday during all English classes. The following week, the field of 25 will be narrowed down to the homecoming court following another round of voting in senior English classes on the 29th. Homecoming wraps up with the highly anticipated pep rally pregame party, and homecoming football game on Friday, October 9th. Tickets for the homecoming pregame party are $20 and include admission to the party, a t-shirt, a catered tailgate-style dinner, and a ticket to the football game. Tickets must be purchased in advance and will be on sale soon. Speaking of football, sort of, Powder Puff is right around the corner, and sign-ups being on Monday during all lunch periods. If you are interested in playing, you will need to pick up a medical and permission form in your home office and bring the completed form with you when you sign up. The cost for players is $15 and is due at the time of sign-up. If you want to help out by coaching, cheerleading, or simply support your class by pur purchasing a t-shirt, see your class cabinets rooms for ideas. Mandatory practice uh, dates for Powder Puff football are Saturday, October 3rd and Saturday, October 17th. Powder Puff games will be played under the lights on Thursday, October 22nd. Back to you, Steve. Last Tuesday, students were given the exciting opportunity to venture around during their lunch period to explore the multitude of clubs and activities that North Penn has to offer. With well over 60 clubs to choose from, students were able to choose from a vast array of activities that either meet up to their interest levels, suit their needs, or even caught their attention. The clubs ranged from a variety of cultural, technological, and, and technological clubs. Students could sign up for the clubs that interested them if they wanted to receive further information about meetings and events that the club may be planning. So if you were looking for something to do after your school day ends, then the activities fair was the perfect time to find activity for you. Sir Ramsey makes this triumphant return for this year's first weekly word. Good morning. Welcome to the weekly word. I'm Mr. Ramsey. Our word for you this week is chivalrous. It is, in a word, nightly. But let's explore that in a little more depth. If you are chivalrous, you display the idealized characteristics of a knight, according to romantic tradition. So these would include honor and integrity, fairness and honesty, courtesy and civility. In some contexts, that would be especially towards women, but um, I'm, I'm going to advocate for a more equal opportunity chivalry today. Anybody can be chivalrous. Um, courage. It does sometimes take courage to do the right thing. Protective kindness towards the weak or the disadvantaged. 
generosity to those in need, and mercy towards your foes. So don't run up the score too much. All right, North Penn, step up, be chivalrous, and we'll see you next time on The Weekly Word. Mr. Wilson is back and prepared for a whole new year of I Know Funny. Good morning. Welcome back. I'm Mr. Wilson. It's time for the joke of the day. Why was school easier for cavemen? There was no history to study. <laughs> I'm Mr. Wilson. Mr. Monero's here with members of the Girls Lacrosse team to discuss their upcoming fundraiser. Mr. Monero? Thank you very much, Maddie. Good morning, North Penn High School. Welcome back to another year of mornings. I have two outstanding Girls Lacrosse players with us here this morning. We have Michelle Dyke and Emily Suzuki. Ladies, good morning. Good morning. You guys have a very uh, interesting event coming up, don't you? Fundraiser, something new that you haven't done before? Yeah, the girls lacrosse team will be participating in a 5K run on October 10th for Man on Main Street. It's the race to end hunger. It'll be around the North Penn area. It'll start at Knapp Elementary and run through the streets of Lansdale. The team's seeking donations um, and any amounts greatly appreciated. We all have these uh, pink forms, and you can find any girls lacrosse member, and we'll set you up. All right, so Michelle, let's back up the truck here a second. So it's October 10th. Yeah. What time? 8 a.m. 8 a.m. at Knapp. Yeah, it starts at Knapp. Okay, so like... I don't know. Let's just say, for example, that my name is, I don't know, like Mr. Burger, okay? And I've always wanted to, like, run down the streets of South Philly like Rocky, but I don't want to go to South Philly. This goes right through downtown Lansdale, right? Yeah. So if Mr. Burger enters, like, he'll be running down past Main Street Pizza, past the Kugel Ball, right? And it's all for a good cause. Yep. Tell me about Man on Main Street. Why did you guys pick that charity? So, Man on Main Street last year distributed 462,000 pounds of food to 1,050 households in the North Penn area. They provided 30,667 meals and supplied $80,000 of emergency aid to the working, poor, elderly, and homeless. Oh, you are a wealth of knowledge, Emily. That's fantastic. All right, and how about your team? How's the team looking this year? Pretty good. good. Yeah, we're excited for the season. All we're right. doing some off-season training. Good. We're working uh, three days a week to train for the 5K. Good. And Championships yeah. are built in the off-season, right? Yeah. All right, 5K to support Manuel Main Street, run by the women's lacrosse team here at North Penn High School, October 10th, 8 a.m., Knapp Elementary School. Good luck and Thanks have fun. All right, North Penn, have a great day and a great weekend. Back to you, Steve and Maddie. Thanks, Mr. Monero. The new dudes are here with an unexpected surprise in their first dude report.
check in with Mr. Brumball to find out the answer to this week's Brumball Challenge. Hey, the answer you've all been waiting for. Mr. Bauer had the honor, privilege, and fun playing wiffle ball with Kevin Costner. Said he was pretty good. Kevin Costner, as you may know, starred in the movie The Field of Dreams. Bet you didn't know that? Now you do. Welcome back. Thanks for playing this week's Brumball Challenge. That's all for this edition of Mornings. I'm Stephen Sokolowski. And I'm Maddie Payton. Have a stupendous day, North Penn.